What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Night Owl Lacquer's Blooming Collection. This is a six-piece set, and I have this month's color of the month to show you guys at the very end of the video, so let's dive right into the swatches. First up is Marigold. This is a Marigold Yellow Crelly with red to gold and copper to gold multi-chrome flakes. So the base color to this one is what I would describe as a mustardy sort of yellow. There is a touch of a Dijon sort of feel to it when you build it up. Now for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats on this. In a moment on the second coat, you'll see that it absolutely offers full coverage at the second coat, but I thought that third coat really plumped it out and brought out the most types of flakes. So Definitely going to depend on your preference, but I just think three normal to thin coats is perfect on this. Now, this has so many flakes on it. I think this one's also going to be a really good transition shade uh, for the fall, too. So definitely gives me those summery sort of vibes, but uh, I think this is really versatile in uh the seasonality of it, if that makes sense. So this dries down flat and just a tiny bit on the textured side as again, it's very full of flakes. So I'm gonna suggest a really good glossy top coat to finish this one off. I didn't really see a point to uh, use say a glitter smoothing top coat, but you're gonna wanna use something just a little bit thicker to smooth this one out and give you that nice flat, very glossy sort of appearance. And next is Iris. This is a white Crelly with blue to purple and gold to copper multi-chrome flakes. Now there are two lighter Crellies in this collection. I have the next one to show you guys right after Iris. So you guys can see a really good idea of the difference between them. The base to Iris has more of what I consider a cool toned, very pale sort of dove gray appearance when you build it up. Now that could absolutely be the flakes kind of playing tricks on my eyes a little bit, but I feel like this has more of a somewhat grayed undertone to the base color. Now this is again, packed full of flakes. You'll get that nice shredded appearance across your nails. There was a couple times I got some chunky ones on my nails. So lots and lots of a shredded sort of effect when you finish building it up. Now for opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two to three coats, though in my opinion, I think three coats is going to flatter this one the best, give you the most coverage and really help to bring out that nice cool toned base color and you'll get just so much flaky payoff. Now this one dries down flat, but not as uh, flirting with being textured as say Marigold. So I think any top coat's gonna be perfect, but again, with flakies that are just so full of things in them like this one or in any of these collection, I think a good glossy one's gonna fit best. And next is Poppy. This is a vibrant red jelly with red metallic micro flakes and charcoal flakes. So this one is just a touch different from those first two in that this is really, really smooth on application. This feels more like a true jelly and how it builds up. And I'm gonna suggest between two to three coats. Now I stopped at two coats on this one as I thought it built up very well, smoothed up very easy for me and it applies like a very opaque jelly. But depending on your preference, you may wanna finish off with a third thin coat, but Definitely going to be uh, up to you and how long your nails are and how you polish all that good stuff. Now, this is what I would describe as being a very vibrant red. I do agree with the official description, but in my opinion, in person, this has just a touch more of a cool tone to it. So I think my full hand shot here is giving you guys a really good idea of what this color looks like in person. And next is Daisy. This is a white Crelly with yellow micro flakes and gold to copper multi-chrome flakes. So this is what I would consider the cousin to Iris, but the base color to this is, uh, it's white, but I think it's got just a touch of a gold effect to it. And I think it definitely plays up with the golden micro flakes. You can kind of see it in the backdrop here. They appear as a larger particle sort of shimmer, and it kind of gives you this really flirting with being this very light antique sort of uh, gold appearance. So I would describe the base to this one as being more of a warm toned sort of white base, if that makes sense. This is also packed full of flakes and for opacity on this, I'm also gonna suggest going in for three medium to light coats, depending on how you polish. I thought this popped really well at that third coat 
Now, I purposely went in normal to somewhat lighter for myself. And again, I think going in like that really helps to pop with the most flakes and give you that nice color roll appearance with that very, very strong flaky appearance. And next is Snapdragon. This is a light green with pink to gold shimmer and pink to gold to green crystal chameleon flakes. So this has a curly sort of feel on application, but it does lean just a touch more on the jelly side in my opinion. So it starts off on the uh, lighter sort of side, but it builds really well between two and three coats. Again, I'm gonna suggest three coats on this. Now, this is one of those types of jelly finishes that has a strong squishy factor to it. So I'm going to strongly suggest going in very light on your coats to prevent any sort of over buildup and have everything Everything nice and even and smooth so no issues with the formula whatsoever but again just note that it does have a very strong squishy feel on the brush strokes now this one dries down flat again so I'm gonna suggest a good glossy top coat to get that shimmer and the flakes to pop really well this comes off in my opinion as definitely a light green again I agree with the official description it's got a strong lime sort of undertone and an absolute gilded sort of golden shimmery effect it's quite strong and the flakes give you this more iridescent sort of appearance on the full hand shot here you are seeing a glossy top coat applied and lastly for the blooming collection is forget me not this is a vibrant blue filled with purple to blue shimmer this is really pretty again i know i'm always going to be blue biased but i really enjoy blue glowy sort of finishes now the shimmer to this one has a bit of a purple shift to it it's more on the extreme angles you'll see it but uh, while i was wiggling my nails around in my painting area with all the lights on me i could definitely see it so i think in shaded lighting and uh less indirect sort of lighting you'll see that a nice purpley sort of shift overall in indoor and normal lights this is going to have a very strong glowy blue effect it's definitely a medium sort of blue but very vibrant in person and for opacity i'm going to suggest between two and three coats now on that second coat there i really struggled with whether or not i was going to take it to the third and i wanted to see at the end of the day what the difference would be and I personally think that the third coat really flattered this one the best. So it's going to depend on your preference, but that third coat did something else. And you can see just how vibrant and popping it is. This is just one of those blues that I just think is just so, so flattering. And finally, we have the June cream of the month. This is Sandcastle and is described as a pale sandy tan cream. I do agree with that official description. This definitely gives me sandy sort of vibes. Very pretty. Now I want to note with you guys once again that I do have that terrible break on this nail from me uh, smashing my finger the other week. So please know any unevenness you're seeing on this first coat is due to that split. Unfortunately, even with my repair job, it's still just not behaving and it is past my quick. Normally I don't mind rocking shorties, but uh, it is what it is. I just don't want to cause myself any more bleeding or anything like that. But I digress. So Sandcastles has that beautiful, smooth, strong, self-leveling formula to it. It is beautifully opaque at two coats, dries down semi-gloss. I think any top coat's going to be perfect with it. Now the Blooming Collection and the June Cream of the Month will release June 18th at 6 p.m. MDT. I will link Night Owl Lacquer below for you guys if you wanna check it out, as well as the Facebook fan group if you wanna see additional swatches, all that good stuff. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.